Our method of analysis, proximate analysis, who know about that? And that's the term that you use when you're doing forage or feed evaluation. That's what Shellyan does on a daily basis. She loses crude protein, which is very important. You do NDF, which is what you call the neutral detergent fiber, the digestibility experiment. And you have acid detergent fiber. But I really use neutral detergent fiber more. Um, you can do crude fat. You can do crude fiber. And you can do what you call ash, which is the minerals. And your dry matter. Yeah, Shelly, we can probably do a practical at Bowles Friday on the analysis, if we have time. No, Shelly. Yeah, we can. Then you have the Van Sass fiber analysis, which is what we see in wet chemistry, is a part of this. The ketal just protein analysis. That's what we do. And then you have this Bose equipment, infrared reflectance spectroscopy, NIRS, that you put a feed in it, bam, using lasers or lights, and it tell you whatever it, that you need. But very expensive. Yeah, yeah, man, total digestible nutrients. Mm -hmm. You can use this to calculate it. When you use this formula, you can use it to calculate the TDN, the DDMM, relative feed value. You can use all that. To, you can actually use it, the NDF and the ADF, to determine the dry matter intake of particular animals, cattle, sheep, and goat. There's formulas for that. So this is it. So you make up, so you get your results. You look for your crude protein, your crude fiber, your ash. Neutral detergent fiber, acid detergent fiber, your moisture. Important. And moisture represents, that is why we feed on a dry matter basis. Because you might we collect some plants to their 100 pounds, you put it in the dryer, you go down to 20 pounds. So it is. That's the amount of moisture in it. This is the formulas for you. Interpreting your proximate analysis. You can look at digestible dry matter. You can look at dry matter intake using the NDF percentage or the ADF percentage. You can use relative feed value using the, dry, the DDM and the DMI. And you can determine the value of your feed using these very simple formulas and the results. So it is there for you. Total digestible nutrients, we we'll talk about it. You need the ADF, you can calculate this. TDN, again, this is some other, this is a, this is a different one. This is, a, this is what more nutritionists use. We look at nitrogen free extract. This is a bit more complex. This is for the simple on farm guy that I will give, Shelley will give you the results that the ADF is probably 46%. And you can just bam, using that formula and determine your feed value. And then you look at the energy, metabolizable energy using TDN. So when you get your TDN, you can look at how much energy you're actually getting from this particular forage. You can look at the net energy gain also, net energy for maintenance net energy for lactation, and these are specifically for sheep and goat. You have other factors or other constants that are for cattle or dairy animals, but these are for sheep and goat. <laughs>